So our memories are all mentally filtered. What this means is that these minds of ours are incapable of remaining fully objective. <laughs> and they are, all right? To, remain full, to be fully objective 100% of the time is to be perfect in our thinking, which none of us could ever be. Well, maybe you can be, and if you, if you decide that you are capable of being perfect in your thinking, then please write a book, because the rest of the world is itching to figure this one out. So our memories are either going to be objective or subjective. For example, daddy wasn't there. Period. Daddy just wasn't there. That's okay. Doesn't mean daddy was bad. Just means daddy wasn't there. Doesn't mean I'm bad. Just means daddy wasn't there. Or subjective, daddy wasn't there. Which means that daddy was bad and that daddy doesn't love me. Daddy doesn't love me, which means that daddy was bad. All right, come on. Subjectivity generally tends to silliness. All right, tends to lead to silliness. But where do we experience all these Past events, emotionally, that's right. Right here, in the here and now, in the present. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift that most people waste because of focus on all the rubbish that they think happened yesterday. 